Overnight, Britney Spears has been online wearing a free Britney t-shirt on what is set to be a very big day for her. A hearing in Los Angeles will determine whether her conservatorship, which controls her personal life and finances as we know, will finally come to an end after 13 long years. Well, Britney's former personal photographer and close friend Andrew Gallery joins me exclusively now from Los Angeles. Good to see you and it looks like Finally, finally, this is going to at least, it's the start of coming to an end, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely seems that way. It seems like the past couple of weeks and months, uh, a lot has changed. And so tomorrow is, uh, is going to be a big day. It really is. And we've obviously been following this story um, with a sense of, of complete bafflement as to how, you know, a mature woman, you know, somebody who is, is, a, is an amazing artist and mother of two, has been confined to this. Now, you were with her, I would imagine, at the very start of this conservatorship. What was her life like? Yeah, I mean, even just hearing you say it now, 13 years, I, ca I, like, I can't know. even, uh, I can't comprehend how it went on for that long. Um, but yeah, I mean, in the beginning, it was sort of a, a mixture of, you know, everyone was excited for her to do this comeback. And... I think enthusiastic to be a part of that team and obviously to work with her was, you know, a big honor. Um, but then there was also sort of like this elephant in the room because people weren't really sure what it meant to be in a conservatorship and, and how that was going to play out. Um, and especially I don't think, you know, myself or anyone else knew that it could play out for that long. I know, because it was, I mean, that's the thing, you know, here we are 13 years on from that. But, I mean, was she was she still able to obviously do her job okay? You know, could you interact with her? Was she, you know, was she allowed to be herself? Yeah, I mean, I think to some extent, definitely. Um, I, I think that the MTV film, for the record, did a really good job of showing what her life was like and showing that she was aware of what was going on. She was aware of, you know, the things that were happening and it wasn't, it wasn't like she was just some some passive passenger in this whole process. Um, but then, you know, there was also this other side of everything that was going on. So it's like on one hand, she was, you know, fun and playful and happy. And then obviously, on the other hand, at times, she wasn't those things. And, you know, it was really sad to see that side um, and also sort of difficult because you know, I can speak for myself, but like, I didn't know how to help. I didn't know what to do, or I didn't know if it was my place to help or, you know, so it was a, it was a difficult situation. I'm sure it was. And you saw her every day for such a long time. You were such a big part of her life and then nothing. It, 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 it just, there's no contact, which is, which is very strange and no way of you to get in touch with her because of this yeah. conservatorship, because of the control over her life. Yeah, I mean, I think this is something we, we've heard with other people also, people who were, um, you know, worked closely with her and then sort of were were quickly cut out. And it, it, it's definitely a strange thing. I mean, I think it's it's hurtful. I think it's 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 hard if, um, you know, it's hard, it's hard if you're her to be able to know who to trust. And when people just get removed from your life, it's like, I, like, who knows what was conveyed to her? You know, who knows if, um, what sort of messages they said to her about what happened? So, um I think it was sad for a lot of us when that happened and unable just to, you know, even say hello or check on her or, I know. you know, just sort of like be a friend. Yeah, exactly. Be a friend. That's the thing. That's what friends want to do to just to make sure that she's that she's OK in this very bizarre situation that she's having to live with. It's it's. I don't know. Maybe now, though, I mean, I know that still there's a lot of court battles to come and an awful lot of lawyers are going to get incredibly rich, yeah. aren't they? And, and Britney's footing the bill, sadly. Um, but maybe when the dust has settled that you may be able to resume, you and, and many other people who were cut out of her life who were very, very important to her, you might be able to get back in touch. I mean, I, I think... If, if that happens, it's great. And if it doesn't, it's it's great too. I think what's important is, you know, that she has people around her that she cares about and, and trusts and, you know, is able to spend time with the people who, you know, she feels like are, is uh, like making her life better. And so, you know, I, ho I hope, and I think all of us hope that that's what she's able to get back into. Um, and I think that's what would make everyone happy.
It is extraordinary, isn't it, that the whole Free Britney movement, when that started, people were kind of like, what's all this about? I don't understand this. And now, yeah. you know, she's wearing, we saw a picture overnight of her, she is now wearing a Free Britney t-shirt. You know, that she's, it's yeah. completely had this, this seal of approval from the woman herself. Yeah, I mean, I think that's one thing. You look at the fans that she has, and they they are really incredible. And I I think that they were really instrumental in in creating this change. And I think you know, I, I, I'm just sort of in awe of what they're able to do. You know. Well, Andrew, it's been good to talk to you. We'll find out what happens today. Hopefully, it's at least yeah. the beginning of the end, and she can start to live a normal life or at least live a life that, that's hers, that nobody's telling her what to do constantly. And the, the levels of control are hideous, absolutely hideous. Thank you for joining us this morning. I yeah. really appreciate it. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.